Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and been having trouble with one of the side-by-sides, our BMS Stallion, which is one of those Rhino clones. Uh, it runs good. I mean, everything's been fine, but I'd go out there, I'd go to start it up, the battery would be dead. I'd put a new battery in it, thinking it was the battery, and the new one's doing it as well. So it's not the battery. I started disconnecting. I've got auxiliary lights on it. I disconnected those, still went dead. Disconnected the winch, it still went dead. So it's in the main line. So just to be, just to kind of make it simple, I uh, was going to put a battery disconnect switch on, and I got on Amazon, and I ran across this. It's a DZSCY, uh, it's like an electronic one, uh, like a little resistor kind of thing, and it has uh, remote controls. Uh, one of the issues with uh, this BMS is the hood's kind of hard to get up when you have to get in there. So uh, having a little remote would make it to where I don't have to open the hood and I can turn it off. So uh, I was kind of kind of liking that. You've got the main unit. You have two remotes. Uh, you get some caps. And you get a little cord here. So we're going to go on out there and we're going to hook it up and see how it works. So come on, coming out to the BMS Stallion. And like I said, the hood, it's a plastic hood. And uh, the way it lifts up like this, if you get on one side and lift it, these kind of go down and they catch and it doesn't want to come up so you almost need somebody on both sides it's it's uh just kind of a pain i think all the rhino rhinos and rhino clones are kind of like that so i mean it's not you know necessarily a fault of uh this company i think they're all kind of like that i'm i mean maybe a metal one might be different but it is what it is but we're gonna go in here and it's dusty. I know uh, I live on a gravel road, so everything's dusty. I kind of sprayed some things down but before I came out here. But I've got my main lines hooked up. I'm going to rehook my auxiliary lighting as well as uh, the winch on here. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter screw. I don't know if that's the one that came with it or if that was one that, you know, changing around over time that I had changed. So I've got my wrenches to kind of open them up and put them on. I've upgraded to just a cheap uh, riding lawnmower battery. It gives them a little more power than the factory one, and they're a hell of a lot cheaper. And the one I had on my mule literally, uh, I think it lasted 11 years. So, uh, you know, it's hit or miss, but you get lucky with them sometimes. But at least... Even at the price, I mean, you're looking 25, 29 bucks, something like that. So if, uh, you know, it goes out every two years, it's still cheaper than buying the factory battery that's a uh, hundred bucks because they don't seem to last that long as well. So anyway, I'm going to get these uh, changed out and hooked up and we're going to see how this works. So I had a little trial and error hooking it up and I think I've got it figured out right now. Uh, one of the first issues that I had is uh, it was set up for a different kind of terminal. And so I basically just took this off and uh, used the uh, bolt that held the uh, original wire to it, or term cable terminal, whatever you want to call it, to it. Wired it straight there, and uh, I ended up hooking it up to the negative uh, which looked like it was going to be kind of the easier way to do it. I've got all my negative wires. I know it looks like a jumbled mess, but you know what? If it uh, makes it start every time, I don't care. Uh, there is one red wire coming off of here, and that I have running to my positive lead. And it seems to be okay. Uh, coming out here, I've got the remote, and... Uh, oh, well, that's the uh, wrong rem remote. That's the... One to my car. So grabbing the uh, grabbing the remotes, and it comes with two. Apparently, I've already lost one, but I'll grab the other one out. 
but just uh, grabbing grabbing it hitting it you can hear it turning on and off I can't really test it just yet because like an idiot when I pulled it out here I ended up uh, leaving the ignition on I think it died on me it hadn't been run for a while I think it died when I stopped and uh, I didn't turn the ignition off on the key so it's been sitting here turned on for about 24 hours and the battery's dead so luckily I got my jump box we're gonna get this out fire it up and uh, take it in hook it up to the battery charger and then we'll check and see if uh, you don't have one of these jump boxes I've done a video on it definitely definitely if you have equipment that sits for any length of time uh, definitely worth worth it. I mean these things we use these uh, on some of the big uh, trucks even the fuel trucks we use for uh, the airfields where I work for the Navy. Uh, these things will start an 18 wheeler. I believe it's supposed to be like 30 times on one charge. These things are great. But anyway I'm gonna jump it. I'm gonna get in the barn. I'm gonna charge it up and then probably a little later today or tomorrow morning depending on how the time goes uh, we'll test it out I got everything charged up on it and uh, let it sit for about four days now and uh, yeah it's still got full power so this thing you know is working as we go on I'll kind of uh, give some updates uh, you know a few months down the road six months a year down the road but Get in here, turn the key on, I've got nothing. Hit my little uh, remote. Everything fires right up. And uh, it comes with two remotes, so I like that too. And I mean, these will work on tractors, uh, cars, trucks, anything that you don't use on like a daily basis. Uh, I've got it on this. Like I said, I've got a short somewhere. I'm trying to find it out, but in the time being, I'm just tired of going out there. And, uh, you know, if I haven't used this in a week or so, all of a sudden, boom, it's uh, dead. Or it did happen to me uh, once last summer, as a matter of fact. It was a little low. I didn't realize how low it was. And we headed up to uh, go fishing, and we had two large uh, black cats that uh, were on the other bank. And I uh, tried to jump on it. Uh, they wanted me to run back and get some cameras to document it and all that. And sure enough, the thing was dead. So, uh, so yeah, kind of kind of nice to have. Hopefully, uh, it's going to hold up. And I'll make reviews as we go along on how I like it. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the video, as always, I try to put a link to the products I use at the bottom in the uh, comments section but if you enjoy the videos please consider giving us a thumbs up sharing it with friends subscribing to the channel it's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow till next time have a great day